right? Doing good so far. <clears throat> hey, buddy. I need this. All right. I'm going to move this over a little bit too, right now. Okay, good. Then leave the big thing over there for the moment. There we go. Uh, I think I could sit on your little sofa while I do this. What do you think? I said, yeah. Well, it's not as comfortable as I thought it would be. Oh, that's nice, though. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. Now. All right, mic check, one, two. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, and it's not going to be a very long mailbag today. We got some big boxes, um, but I think that it should go pretty quickly. And I'm so sorry for everybody that uh, sent this stuff that wanted it opened yesterday. But um, I just, you know, it turned out there probably was plenty of time, but I had no way of knowing that. Uh, those of you that are watching this and didn't um, hear me talking about it live or see it when it happened, um, Cuddles did get picked up by her new foster yesterday, and it is so great. Uh, it turns out that her new foster is basically the other um, person at Dawes that takes pregnant mom cats, the person that has taken uh, all of the pregnant mom cats that we couldn't take. Uh, she's the one that they end up going to. So it was amazing to finally meet her, uh, well overdue. I suppose I should check to make sure we got camera angles that are okay. Yeah, that's fine and uh, that you guys can hear me. All right, Mike, good, excellent. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, um, not only is she the person that, that has been uh, like, you know, the, the other pregnant mom cat taker, uh, and wonderful to finally meet her, I think that we're probably gonna see um, a lot more of her, and, uh, you know, uh, I think that, that um, it just there's there's lots of potential there for us to both benefit from finally knowing each other. It's been way overdue, so uh, I think that's fantastic. Plus, she's very excited about little cuddles and has already been sharing her on the Discord. Uh, the bathroom that she's living in is very nice. It's way nicer than any other bathroom she's ever lived in. So uh, it's a great little home for her temporarily until I think that her uh, foster has plans to introduce her to the house of cats which is something that she has a lot of experience in, and I, I can believe that she can do very well. I do think that, that, I've said it before, I do think Cuddles will get along with other cats. It's just, that's a project that I didn't see any reason to start in on here, uh, because, you know, you have to manage that kind of situation pretty carefully. And um, I, just, I just didn't think that, you know, that was something that I wanted to get into. So it's another reason for her to be there and, and thriving and have a foster that really has the time and experience in dealing with that kind of cat. She has cats that are straight up feral uh, that she um, takes care of that have little kittens. And I respect that so much that it takes a special kind of person with some special skills like a Liam Neeson to, uh, to, to handle that, and uh, I'm glad that Dawes has somebody like that. I'm glad we finally met. So Cuddles is doing great, and I'm really happy about it. Um, that's it for news, though. That's the only thing that you guys missed between today and yesterday, and <laughs> there's not too much else that's happened. So uh, with apologies that I still kind of have a cold, and I, I hope that's not too offensive. Um, <clears throat> I know sometimes when I listen to podcasters, they're like, I have a cold, but I'm going to do this anyway. I'm like, oh, I wish you hadn't. It sounds awful. I can't. Uh, I hope I'm not that bad. I don't feel that bad. Um, let's get rolling. So, okay. Uh, first off, we started with this yesterday. I had to open this after mailbag yesterday because I got a note that said uh, that there was something in here for cuddles, but I haven't done the rest of it yet. So here we go. Sealed with sealing wax, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, the note, okay to read on stream. Fantastic. So let's open that right up. The seal's broken, so now the Royal Courier uh, will know that it's been tampered with. And we have, oh wow, some lovely line art of uh, like paisley cats on the front. And inside it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, while well, walking the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival Street Fair this past April, 
Uh, that sounds really cool. I saw this card and knew it had to be my next card to you for mailbag. The art is by a Pacific Northwest artist who usually only does wild animals, but created a very few companion animal pieces. Thought you might enjoy it. Love, True Blue. I certainly do. It's really pretty, and it's got a distinctive, st I mean, very distinctive style. I especially like, I can tell it does wild animals. The little mice with the mushrooms is a great little touch. But he's captured the expressions on these cats' faces. I just, it always impresses me so much when an artist can not only draw a cat, but really give that cat a feeling because it's not like the cat expressions are very distinct and once you've been around cats you can read their face and know exactly how they feel but um it's different you know, obviously than human expressions you know they, or even dog expressions if you're a dog person um so uh, it always impresses me so much when an artist can really capture that and uh, he certainly has done that so she she um fantastic all right, more note. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, what a fun group of kittens. They remind me of a group of really young kids on the stalker field. Every kitten is going in different directions. Skylight is the ultimate soccer mom, making sure every kit is happy and safe. Teaspoon is the teenage assistant coach who sometimes gets totally overwhelmed by all the chaos. Custard is the adult coach who's given up on all the chaos. <laughs> Logan Barry trying to keep the chaos in check. Eddie and Aria are the uncles who feel they need to be there to support the kids, but really have no idea what's actually going on. Maggie doesn't care what's going on, but brings snacks for the players, all bread-based, go figure. And Sweet Cuddles, she's taking some time to work on herself, self-cuddle care, if you will, knowing her kids are in Sky's capable hands, or paws. Cuddles Snugglers are also soft, warm, and well snuggly, so their kickers are all made with soft, warm, snuggly flannel. I love flannel. Uh, let's uh, let's pull these out while we're talking about them. Uh, let's see, that must be this one. I did not notice that it was flannel, but I do now, of course, notice that. So, Cuddle Snugglers. This is cash. Nope. Uh, wait. Oh, yes. This one is cashmere. It's lovely. It's gray. It's got very uh, concerned-looking kitty faces on it. I think that camera's going. Maybe that's a good way to see this. This guy's cool with the sunglasses. I like the way you've centered him. Uh, right in the middle of that. Okay, and we have um, hot chocolate. It's this little purple flannel. These these are nice. I like the flannel. It's a nice material for these. It's nice and soft. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I'm a big fan of flannel all over, actually. I, I just got the flannel sheets off of the bed that we use all winter because it's way too warm now. We're on to the linen. Uh, let's see. Marshmallow. But flannel sheets in the winter are a joy. Uh, so Marshmallow gets this with these cute little happy kittens on it. Oh, they're so happy. And then this is pajamas. Uh, wearing pajamas. I see what you did there. Cats in pajamas. Oh, look at that with the stars. And he's wearing a little star on his collar. That's cute. Okay. So that's them. Uh, Sky's skyscraper kickers are all daisies because... Light I know you guys want these already, don't you? you got to wait. Uh, sky skyscraper kickers are all daisies because, like a skylight, where light shines through, beautiful things grow. Oh, what a sweet thought. Very poetic. Uh, we've got Gabe is such a little Gabe. He's into everything. He's now in this bag. Can you can you see this bag? This bag contains a Gabe, believe it or not. He just he'll put up with all kinds of stuff. So there, now can you see him? Now can you see him? He's just hanging out, buddy. All right, cool. Who let the cat into the bag? All right, well, let's take a look at these. These are daisies, and they are so cute, and they're all different colors. Wow, you must just have so many of these fabrics. So this one is for Mom, Skylight. Beautiful. DJ loves daisies. Uh, Joyce gets the pink one, of course, just like DJ's comment this morning. You guys are on the same page. <clears throat> when the infrared filter was off the camera because they knocked it over and it was all pink this morning. DJ's like, oh, that must be how Joyce sees the world. I guess so. This is really pretty with the green and the yellow and the blue together for rafter. Gorgeous. Gable uh, also gets blue and yellow and green. Uh, blue and yellow and green, yes, but different, uh, darker. So that's for Gable. And finally, purple for... Alcove, also with some detail in there. It's very nice. These are all so pretty. 
I think they're adopters, and the kittens are going to love them. They want to get into these bags right now. You guys can wait. Here we go. Okay. Carrying on, uh, each of the kickers has fringe representing all of the kittens and the mom cats because like Muriel's tiny face and Roo's Roo's, this group really took it, uh, took the it takes a village saying to heart. I think that's such a cute touch. You have, so I didn't point this out, but the fringe on these each has a piece of the fabric from everybody else's in the fringe, which is, I think, such a cute touch to really tie it together. Uh, that's just, it's adorable and sweet. And it's a nice, it's a nice detail that, that might go unnoticed. Um, but I know you've done that before, and it's, it, I think it's really cool. So, uh, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I just really want to thank you for taking on the challenge that is Cuddles. I think you've done a fantastic job working with Cuddles and giving her the baseline skills she needs to ace her postgraduate studies. She's doing great, and that's all because of you two. You may not have 100% won her over, but she's well on her way to emulating her K.A. given name. Love. True Blue. Thank you so much, True Blue. Well, uh, I don't want to take too much credit for making her all nice because uh, I, I did make great progress with her and I was really impressed. And then uh, it kind of all got ruined uh, when I had to start medicating her and I wasn't very patient about it. You know, I think if DJ had had the time to deal with that, she does. A, she's got a much more patient approach to that where I'm like, the cat's never going to go for this. I just kind of got to get it done. Where DJ does this too, I've noticed with the cats around the house, like if they want to go through the fence or if she wants them to go through the fence, I'll pick up the cat, put it over the fence, done. But she doesn't do that. Most of the time she'll just open the fence and be like, come here, come here, come here, and wait for the cat to just kind of decide to come along however long it takes. And I think that kind of, the, the kind of patience is uh, something that take, goes a long way with a cat like Cuddles. I think I get away with not doing that most of the time because for most cats, it's fine. You know, you pick them up, put them over the fence. That's what they wanted. It's what you wanted. It just gets it done. No big deal. Um, but when you've got a cat that needs a little bit more time and, and care and, and allowance, uh, I'm not necessarily the best person for that all the time. And I recognize that. So I think it's great that Cuddles has somebody that is, has got the, the time and the experience and the skills <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, uh, it's just, it's fantastic. I said that already, um, but, uh, you know, I just, I don't want to sound like, oh, yeah, I did such a great job. You know, it's like, I don't want to be the guy who's like, oh, man, I can't get this jar open, uh, and then like, oh, yeah, but I loosened it up for you, you know. Uh, yeah, sure, you opened it up on the first try, but I loosened it. <laughs> I got it, I got it started. Like, no, that's not the case at all for cuddles. Um, I know that, uh, her new foster is going to be the one that really has got that whole situation. Um, okay. This is clearly a box from You Know Who. Here we go. You can see the little logo on there. But let's see what the note says. It says, Please distribute as you see fit between faculty, current residents, and endowments from Fiona. Oh, Fiona, thank you so much. So this is from uh, the Dragon Maker store, which is Dragon Maker on uh, Etsy, D-R-A-G-O-N-M-A-K-R, like a Led Zeppelin song. Um, there's no E in Maker, but it's Dragon Maker, and uh, she makes, among other things, these wonderful little uh, catnip toys. We've got, wow, this cool tie-dyed rainbow dragon wing filled with the, the potent kind of catnip. And look at this one. This is a beautiful pastel rainbow, perfect for the rainbow room. So lovely. And then you've also included these little catnip knots, which are just pieces of polar fleece with catnip tied in a knot. They make great little kitten toys. Now, the rainbow one's clearly for the rainbow room, but I think I'm going to put this pink one in here right now. You want to try that? And let them play with that for a minute. The rest of these would be perfect for endowments or to go next door into Cuddle's room. Uh, so... Speaking of, uh, not, I said Cuddle's room, and I, I meant to say Cal's room, but you, either way, you know what I meant. Um, speaking of, though, I was going to say that that little egg man yesterday, uh, I put him out in the spa with all these kittens, and they all had to go and investigate him. I don't think any of them really caught on to the laser, but then we've had the other laser going in there, and none of these guys are really laser chasers yet. Um, that's more of an advanced class for a lot of kittens, so I'm not surprised. Um, but Cal is a laser fiend, 
and I cannot wait to try her out on the Eggman, which I'll probably do right after Mailbag, because right now she's out and around the house, so it's the perfect time to just go in there with her after Mailbag and put it right on the floor and see what she does. I think that's going to be a toy that she is going to take to. Um, but uh, I'm excited, and he's so cute. I mean, even if the cats never like him very much, I think he's adorable. I love that little guy. <clears throat> his outfit is so silly, and his nose and his expression. And uh, by the way, um, when you mentioned that he plays music and it would get stuck in my head, I was afraid that it would be like that crab who just constantly blasts this loud music the entire time. And it's I can't even, like, I've still got to disconnect the speaker inside that crab. Uh, before he starts making more appearances. It's not like that, though. He plays a little ditty when he starts up, and then he's quiet and just does his... In fact, he's not just quiet. He is silent. He is the quietest moving laser toy that we have had so far, which is very nice. So uh, I'm excited about that. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, he's, he's so cute. He's just, he's so cute. All right, uh, moving on. This is addressed to Kitten Academy. Hey, hey, that's me. I know that guy. Uh, let's see here. Right in there. And what have we got? Ooh, we got some very flat feather toys. Oh, wow, some dragonflies with the... Oh, that's cool. Where did these come from? Uh, for Sky from Ranau, uh, Ran, Ranau, I said, Rano, uh, R A N O W, Ranau on our Discord server. Uh, so these are for Sky, but I want to pull one of these out and look at it real quick because it's got these dragonflies in here that are a new one I've not seen before. Sky, uh, you guys have seen me in here playing with the wand with Sky. Like, she loves chasing the wand toys so much, she will bowl her kittens over. I don't know if these guys are on the camera over there, but oh, there was just a standoff and it ended with a leap. Uh, I hope that was on camera. So this is a collection of what looks like mostly pretty normal feather toys and some little floof toys that are all, oh, this one's got eyes. They're all wand attachments so they can go on the end of the wand. But the one that's new on me are these dragonflies. Look at this, they're so pretty too. Hang on, let me pull one out. There's a few of them in here. So they have googly eyes. Oh, she wants one right now, and it's not even on the string yet. They have wings like a dragonfly. And look, it's one of those Logan worms with eyes and wings. Um, sadly, these Logan worms come apart really fast, so I don't know how long these dragonflies will really last. But I can't wait to see these on one of the wands. Neither can you. I can tell. It's got everybody's attention. It's not even doing anything yet. Uh, there's what, four of those in here. That's very exciting. Uh, maybe we'll get one of these out before endowment time and put it on her wand, but I want to write her name on here if I have a pen right now so we remember that this is for her, specifically for Sky. There we go, Skylight. Perfect. Hi, what are you doing? Do we have a wand in here behind me? I don't know if we do or not. I think they're all in the bedroom right now. Pretty. I, oh, you're very excited. Hang on now. Let me look in this other drawer behind me. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. That's a stretch. Oh. Well, oh, there is a wand right here. Look at that. I wondered if there was. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. She hears that, and she's just not, not even going to wait. All right. You know what? We don't have to do this during mailbag. Can we? Let me set it aside. We'll do it as soon as I open everything, because I don't want to have to put that off for this. So uh, just we're, we'll wrap this up. We've only got three more packages. Catman Special from Charlie Tubes. Well, I think this is from our usual Charlie, but I like the name Charlie Tubes. That's adorable. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Well, there is a seam where I just cut it, but I can't figure out where it goes from there. So, Aha, I guessed right. I think, whatever. We're just going to open this thing. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Ooh, what is all... Oh, oh, it's tubes! <laughs> ah! That makes too much sense. Look at these are big ones. These are for Joyce. 
They're giant size. I have not seen fun tubes this big before. Let's put one out right now and see what Joyce thinks of it. And they're all green. Uh, that's cute. I put out a handful of regular sized tubes for her the other day. Um, and I, I imagine she plays with all of them, although I haven't really noticed that she does still prefer her green one for some reason. You know, they just get attached to whichever toy is theirs. It's like Loganberry. I've got a half a dozen of the mice that Loganberry likes to play fetch with out around the house, but there's only one that he will go find wherever it is in the house, and that's the one he wants to bring and play with every time until it gets worn out. Oh, in fact, it's right there, so he's probably looking for it. Um... Yeah, it's funny how they get attached to one toy. That's a big one. These are much bigger than the usual uh, tubes. I'm trying to put a little crease in them because otherwise they tend to unfold, um, which we don't want. There we go. Hang on now. All right. Now, look at this. What are you trying to get here? You want to play with a giant tube? Oh, big tube. Okay, now there's probably a note in here, which we're going to get to. Oh, oh, look at that. Big ones in every color. I see... These are for everybody, and these are for Joyce. Uh, that's cute. <clears throat> she does like it. Look at that. She's going right for it. The note says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both keeping well. Look after that back of yours. It's been ages since I've praised you and your work with mom cats, kittens, and your own cats. Lots of love and hugs to Teaspoon. Hi, Joyce. Here, would that be more fun if it were on a floor where it wasn't going to get stuck? Try that now. Um... Thank you so much for that, by the way. We, uh, I, hang on, I need my phone to spell, appreciate all you do at KA. Even you playing games when you need a break, keep up the good work. Enclosed are the Charlie tubes for endowments, but the green ones are for joys. Take care, Charlie. Purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin, who's put on the ounces that he lost. Uh, that's probably good, right? I don't know. <clears throat> These are really cool, and I've never seen uh, the fun tubes that are this diameter, so that's a little bit extra fun. They come out roughly the same size, but there is a difference, and uh, she's already loving it. She's just crazy about those things. Some cats really take to certain toys, don't they? So, uh, that's great. I love it. Thank you for sending these. I have, um, Did you buy these as fun tubes, I wonder, for cats, or do they sell these as something that you found? Um, all the ends on these are finished, so I guess you must have, whatever they came as, they came already cut. I assume you didn't have to uh, burn all these edges to make sure that they were nice. <clears throat> Somebody did, though. Maybe it was you. I don't know. You could have. Could have done. All right. Next up, I think this is going to be the big one here because this is, I think, another thing that's obvious who this is from, the B&B &B sisters. And let's see what fun they have for us this time. All right. Always so much stuff in one of these. Ooh, a paper. I think that's a new one from them. The Akron Beacon Journal. All right. It's time to use our outdoor voices. Yes, okay, you can. Use your outdoor voice. Just, uh, uh, you know, like do it uh, in your head, okay? Uh, the Plain Dealer. Very cool. And... Uh, all right. Well, I guess those are them. I thought there might be another one there but because it's so thick. That's a lot for me to read. This is going to be fun. Bird friendly. Oh, a thin film spread over the windows around the north atrium of Rocket Mortgage Field House is designed to prevent bird strikes. Good. Good for you and for the birds. Okay, let's see what the note says. I see some pretty butterflies. Um, oh, it, kitty's having a picnic. A little black kitten's having a picnic. <clears throat> it says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. We've recently returned from a short vacation to the Cuyahoga National Park in Ohio. We've enclosed some local newspapers for you to enjoy, this time located at the top of the box. Also enclosed are the usual food, blankets, and toys to be used as you see fit. Thank you for all you do, B&B &B sisters Beatrice and Bernadette. 
thank you in advance, Beatrice and Bernadette. I really do appreciate the local papers. Those are so fun for me to look at. And these kids are trying to get to that wand ahead of schedule. So we will try to get to it as quick as we can for them. Oh, look at those colors. So bold. Very pretty. And it is a kitty with a butterfly. And look at that face. That's really pretty. Uh, I love the little rainbow stuff. It's so it's kind of surreal, um, but uh, the, just so colorful. I love the color. Okay. Here we've got another abstract kitty. This one's a little bit more muted. And it is... Oh, it's like, a, a <clears throat> like an acrylic or a, a oil paint style, I guess, with a family of little beautiful kittens. Blue eyes, all very blue. Kind of abstract. Not entirely abstract. And then we have... Let's see... Whoa, oh, that's very cool. Wow, that's like a like a fantasy uh, novel cover, <laughs> isn't it? Those eyes, you can see the striations in the irises. That is so cool. Very nice detail on the eyes and the purple color. Really lovely. Beautiful little white cat with some flowers that I won't try to identify. And then one more blanket right here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is cute. It's got sort of a classic art feel to it, like uh, if Kincaid had ever print, print, painted some uh, some cats, maybe. That's because of the flowers and stuff, kind of reminds me. Uh, really nice details, again, on the eyes. It's a mom cat and her matching kitten. This one's very silky, too. This is silkier than the other ones. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now, we've got a whole bunch of toys. So to start with, we've got little um, uh, uh, rope-tailed mice. We have sunblock, a sun, and a flamingo. Uh, but it's not just a flamingo. It's a flamingo-like pool toy. That's very cute. So very beach uh, or pool theme, sunblock, flamingo, floaty toy, and the sun. Here we have a rocket ship and I think some kind of a UF. Oh, ray gun. Oh, it's a ray gun. That's even cooler. Look at that. I was going to say it's a rocket ship, but then I saw the handle. There you go. So it's a ray gun with a rocket. The rocket's got a face on it. Very cute. Here we've got a cute devil cat. I think we've seen this guy before, but I love him with his little tail, his little devil tail and his furry ears. The details on that are adorable. Uh, we've got an oyster here with a pearl in it and a cat, no, a mouse mermaid, a mermouse. A mermouse? Yes. With a little shell bra on. So we know it's a girl, uh, mermouse. That's a cute pack, too. Uh, here we've got the classic now unicorn. He uh, looks like the ones we've seen before, but he's got some slightly different details, I believe. Uh, very cute. Okay. A rainbow. A uh, unicorn, what is this, a bear? Uh, no, I think it's just a unicorn. It's, okay, this is a little weird, though. I think he's got, oh, no, this is supposed to be his nose. Okay, so it is. No, it's just a rainbow unicorn. Okay, I put it together. Because I was looking at his smile, but these are his nostrils, but it looks like a face. Do you see that on the front? And then he's also got eyes on the side, so I thought, that's weird. He's got two faces, but... Those are his nostrils and his smile, and his eyes are on the side. It uh, looks like kind of like a gummy bear with a horn, a rainbow gummy bear with a horn to me. Uh, he's cute. It's perfect for the rainbow room. Lovely. Speaking of, we got more rainbow-themed things. Here is a fat unicorn with sparkly everything and a big, long tail and a rainbow to go with it. That's a cute unicorn. I, I love that stuff. Uh... Kitty Pop Popcorn Scratch Free. Scratch Free! Uh, puberty's been really good to me, I gotta say. Uh, I'll make it all the way through someday. <clears throat> uh, all right. Am I <coughs> oh, pardon me. I should have muted the mic for that. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, organic Catnip. We got one of these little fishies here. Okay. We have Tree Toes Flaming Fast with a flying cat on it. Uh, these uh, the little uh, parody products are lots of fun. Sour Scratch Kids. I see what you did there. 
Here we have a soda and an ice cream, and they're both very happy to be cat toys. Uh, we got a little salsa picante. He looks like he's up to no good. He's got kind of a, a an expression on his picante face that says, uh, all right, he looks like he's, he's been caught doing something he shouldn't be doing, doesn't he? Okay. Uh, we've got a cute little bird. He's got tiny little ropes for legs and a kind of a heart-shaped wing on the side and a little smiling eye and a beak. Nice little details on this guy. We have pizza and cola, a match that is stood the test of time. We have a flat mouse, classic flat mouse. Uh, we have a uh, another, this one's a flamingo that's not a pool toy and has little ropes on the, I know you want to play with something, we're getting to you. A bag of Charlie Balls, a classic. These guys, these guys could use one or two of these right meow. Oh, yes they could, okay. Alright, that's enough. <clears throat> we have catnip crayons, the Yao brand, that is the good catnip. You want to smell those? Oh yeah, they smell colorful, don't they? Uh, we have cat mint chip mice cream. Oh, mice cream. I see what you did there. And this is a container of uh, cat mint chip mice cream that has a little mice cream ball that's uh, smiling and attached by a rope. So you can put the ball into the container and the cats can pull it out, a little scoop of uh, mice cream. Mice cream. That's cute. I like that. I've used that joke myself. It's an obvious one, but it's, it's fun to say mice cream. Okay. Uh, cat toy rainbow uh, with a little raining cloud. I like the little rain coming out of the cloud. That's that's a nice touch. We have a uh, catnip uh, garden, I see. We've got a little potted catnip and then a little bag of catnip, and they're both very pleased about themselves. Uh, here we have pickled. Uh, we've got a pickle and a jar of pickled mucumbers, yes. All right, the puns never end. Uh, pickle with mucumbers. That's a cute little cucumber jar, though. It needs to have the bow tied back in its little uh, ribbon, but uh, that's adorable with the ribbon on there and everything. Classic grandma style. We have these sweetest fish. Uh, that's a great pun, sweetest fish instead of Swedish fish. They sound almost like the same word, in, so that's, uh, that's fantastic. Here we've got a flat skunk. Ooh, fun little flat skunk for these kids. And we're getting towards the bottom here. What is this? Oh, a bag of very fuzzy mice. All right. These guys are extra fuzzy. Let's pull one of these out to see. Look at that. This is like an alcove uh, in mouse form. You know, let's floof him up just a little bit. Look at that face. Or maybe even joist. Hi, uh, I hear a Teaspoon asking to be let into something. Uh, finally, we have a little purple Puff the Magic Dragon here. This reminds me of uh, Pete. Pete the Dragon. Oh my goodness, wow. Where did that come from? i got to open this guy up. Uh, he does remind me of Pete the Dragon, though, which is like, I think it's an obscure Disney movie. Is it Disney? I don't know. When I was a kid, I don't even remember seeing Pete the Dragon. It was a movie. Um, but uh, I do remember that my next door neighbor kid, who was my age, it was his favorite movie in the whole world. Um, and then I just didn't have the attention span to watch it with him, I don't think. Anyway, <clears throat> there we go. Little, uh, he makes me think of Pete the Dragon for some reason. Maybe he was that color. Uh, he also, he came with this matching little pet mouse. Look at that. <laughs> That's too cute. I don't know why I took him out, but I really wanted to see him. And then, as usual, you've lined the bottom, the entire bottom of the box, with the cans of Nulo, the food that we use here for all the kittens and cats, so that's much appreciated. That will definitely go to good use. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just put all this right back in the box for now. There we go. I haven't thought of that movie, Pete the Dragon, in forever. Like, I don't, I don't know. That's a pretty obscure reference. I think. Although I feel like maybe there was a remake of it uh, a number of years ago. Or am I just making that up? I don't know. 
I have no idea. Okay. Uh, that leaves us with just one more box, doesn't it? I think it does. I'm going to say it does. Uh, I'm going to take this stuff. Hi, hi, Joyce. You're adorable. Joyce fell asleep over there on the catnip kickers. I want to see if I can fit these in here, too. Yes, there we go. Then I just have one box to bring downstairs, I think. Good for me. Well, kind of. The Dragon Maker box. I'm not going to try to fit that in there, too. Okay. Oops. Oh, oh, I ripped it. Okay, it's too far. I tried. Okay. That can go there. That can go there. This also goes. Okay. Perfect. Wait, what's still in here? What is in here? Oh, that's, no, that's, that's stuff to get rid of. A piece of cardboard is what I was stealing. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, let's see what's in the big box. We've all been waiting for it, I think, haven't we? I have been. Let's find out. Ooh, oh, man. Kittens are... I think these kittens are getting worn out by mailbag already. Some of them are just starting to fall asleep. I think they're done with this card, by the way. I'll put that in the stuff to go downstairs. So, this says... From Joy F. And it says to deploy... So that means this is for immediate use. Uh, it also says no trampling, and there's a thing here that says do not open. Uh, I think it said do not open with knife, but they put the uh, they put the label right over the rest of it, so it just says do not open. Um, I'm not going to take that advice. I'm not going to take either of them. I'm going to open it, and I'm going to use a knife, but I will be careful. Look at me, a rule breaker, a rebel. Oh man, I'm so daring. I gotta go get a tattoo now. What is this? Is this some kind of giant cat tree and it's so pretty colors. I can't tell what it is, but it's very pretty colors. Uh, there's like a cylinder in here and it's covered in little purple balls of some kind. Let's see. Oh wow, it's like a cake. It's like a cake. Oh my goodness, <gasps> DJ is going to lose her mind. She loves cake, and she loves like calling custard, custardoo cake. Uh, that is so cute. Now, there's some hardware here and a spot on the top to put something. Oh, there it is. I think it's a birthday cake with a candle. Let's see what it says here. Oh, it's not a cake at all, according to this. I mean, it is. It's clearly a cake of some kind, but it says bubble tea. I don't know why it's got frosting on it then. Bubble tea doesn't have frosting or even look like it has frosting. Maybe that's just the style of the cake, huh? Let's say that. But then this is a straw. So it is a bubble tea. Hmm. Maybe uh, I'm not as familiar with bubble tea as I should be. I'm going to call it a cake with a crooked candle. That's what it's going to be for me. Um, I'm sorry, I made up my mind, and it can't be changed. Uh, look, it's a cake with a crooked candle, and it's adorable. It's really adorable. So there's only one piece to attach here, and you do say to put this out immediately. And uh, we do need more pods around the house right now. So the Bubble Tea Cat House, <clears throat> color me skeptical. I think I can figure out how this is supposed to be assembled. There's also a toy inside, I think you can see in there. And the straw, I mean candle, at the top. Now, you do say to deploy it immediately, uh, but there wasn't enough room there to say where you thought this should be deployed or to whom. Um, but I imagine I'm going to put it in the spa to start with so that DJ can see it and fully appreciate it right away. She doesn't actually come in here very often. She expects the kittens to come to her. Uh, and I think that she's going to get a kick out of this. I think it's beautiful. And I will bet you a dollar that when she sees it, she's immediately going to think it's a cake or a cupcake. Um, but we'll see. I want to see. It's going to be a quiz. Don't anybody tell her. Don't give it away. We'll see what she thinks. I gotta admit, I'm not a super familiar with bubble tea because uh, it's like little tapioca balls that they put in there, right? 
which I know from um, the uh, way of the house husband, there's an episode where he talks about how to make it uh, with tapioca. Um, I'm not a fan of little tapioca balls in a drink. Like I've tried it once and I'm like, that's just a little strange for me. I can see how somebody would like it. Like it's cool if you're into that sort of thing. I just don't think it's my thing. Uh, but that's fine. You know, not everything is for everybody. This is my thing, though. I love it. Uh, it's a cake to me. Uh, and uh, even if it is a bubble tea, it's really cute with the straw on top. That's adorable. You seem like you're already hanging in there. Okay, this little ball is going to be gone by the end of the day. He's gonna, somebody's going to have chewed it off. Buddy, that's not the game. It's on a piece of elastic, too, which is fun because then it's all stretchy and you can grab it. So cool. Well, uh, Joy F, thank you so much for the cake tea, uh, the tea cake, the uh, bubble bubble cake. Um, the You know what? It is whatever you want. This is the thing about art, right? Like the artist can have a certain thing in mind, but it's really up to the audience what any piece of art is or means. Uh, once you put that art out there, you've just got to accept that it's not for you to say anymore. It's for whoever has consumed it to say. Uh, so, there you have it. This is, uh, here, I'm going to try this bubble tea. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really suck through that straw. I guess it's got a bubble stuck in the end. I don't know if that camera even got the whole thing, but that's fine. That was ridiculous. Okay, uh, I am going to move this out. I'm going to take some of that stuff out, and then we're going to come back, and we are going to do the dragonfly. I just There's not enough room here now with all this stuff in here. So hang on. Oh, you guys can still hear me. I could have told you. Uh, I was just in there setting it in the bedroom like I said I would. And um, it happens to be the same color of lavender as the cat bed that we just put out uh, like yesterday or the day before. And so I put it next to it and it's a perfect match. What a nice little coordination that is. Okay. Let's take this big box out. Now, this stuff I should have put in the big box before I closed it like that. Yeah, that's fine. Bygones. Okay. Teaspoon, go have some cake, buddy. Some teaspoon cake. Some uh, bubble, the bubble teaspoon. <gasps> bubble teaspoon. Oh, yeah. That's what I was looking for. You want some bubble teaspoon? Okay, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, say bye, Gabe. Man, Gabe is a door runner. Gabe has really got this crazy cat personality now. Uh, not only is he a door runner, but he is like people food is his thing. And he'll eat or try to eat almost anything that he sees a person around, whether it's food, whether it's not food, whether it's for cats, whether it's vegetables, whether it's bread, whether it's really spicy. Like he does not care. He just, he just believes it's for him, all of it. Everything is for him. No fear either. Where is he running to? I, I think I've completely lost him out here. Hi, teaspoon. Bubble teaspoon. Well, Gabe will turn up when he's ready. We'll find him. He's, uh, he doesn't have to be here right now. I trust him out and around the house. Honestly, I think all these kids are ready to start going out without the fence up. I just have to be ready to keep an eye on them and uh, haven't quite had the right moment for that yet. But uh, any time now, maybe even today, we'll just, when I let them out, maybe I just won't even have the fence up and they'll just go all over the house, which will make them difficult to watch, um, maybe, you know, or track. Uh, but there's so many of them, I'm sure we'll see some of them having fun. Maybe I can follow them around with a close-up camera, at least the first time. Some of them, I mean, they're bound to go in different directions. There's only one of me. I know, sometimes it seems like there's two or three, but I counted, I counted twice. 
Uh, there's just one. Okay, let's do this dragonfly that I have been waiting for. And then let me put the rest of this bag out there so that it goes to her endowments. What color do we want to start with? I guess I had the green one out. We might as well do that. Hang on, let me put this right out there now. And Logan's favorite mouse, as I'm sure he's looking for. Teaspoon is desperate to play with some kittens right now, uh, but I can't let them out right now because, like I said, um, uh, 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 Cal is out there, and uh, Cal is done with kittens, and uh, especially done with Sky for some reason. She just immediately was like, I don't like that cat. Uh, I don't know, you know, probably just questions the fact that she has made some bad decisions in life and is too friendly and... Uh, Really, we always, you know, the people that are most like us uh, can really irritate us the most, right? To see too much of ourselves in somebody. I think that might be what's going on with uh, Sky and Cal. Um, maybe. Okay, look at that. Oh, well, yeah, well, I knew you'd be all about it. <laughs> she reminds me of Maggie when she hunts, like just all about it. Relentless. Wow. Oh, you got it. You nailed it. Good job. All right, I'm going to turn off the mic up here by my face uh, so that maybe you, you don't have to listen to all of the uh, sub-frequencies that are currently in my voice. Uh, I might sound better on the regular mic, so let me set that up. Well, let me say thank you one more time to everybody for Mailbag today. It was wonderful. All of you were wonderful. Thanks so much for taking such good care of us and our kittens. I appreciate it more than I could ever say. And I know that the adopters appreciate it. And now we've got a foster friend, I think, who appreciates it. We sent a lot of stuff home with cuddles. You guys sent a lot of stuff with cuddles. And uh, I also included a, like a bunch of extra stuff because she fosters kittens. Uh, some stuff I thought she could use for them to play around with. And I know that we're going to be sharing a lot more with her in the future. Um, because you guys are so generous that, uh, it, it, I don't know, let's us be generous in turn. I really, I really appreciate that too. It's, uh, it's the gift, literally the gift that keeps on giving in that sense. Oh, so much fun. Okay. Oh, that was some leap cashmere. My goodness. Joyce is completely outclassed by the rest of this play. Like, she's, she's not as aggressive as these kids are. You can tell she wants to play, but she's, she's not being the one to catch it. Oh, oh, okay. Go to the source, though. You're smart. That's fine. You got tubes, you know, they're a little more your speed. Marsha, okay. I don't know if you can hear his soft growls. He's just. I think.
think having those little wings on there really makes it appealing even when they've got it. It's a little extra. That's cute. The fact that the worm is made by twisting up a string means that the more pressure I put on it, it goes it kind of twists back and forth. That's a fun little thing with the wings on there too. Oh, kiss. Oh my goodness. It's too much excitement. You show them, Joyce. You show them. You go right to the source. That's the smart play. Yeah, you may not be able to push these big kids out of the way, but you sure know how to win. Yeah, you're a winner. You're a big fluffy winner. Here, like that. Okay, I need to put this away anyhow. I got to go see where DJ's at, if she needs any more help outside with all of her projects she's working on today. She got the very first thing this morning. So she worked overnight last night. She was at the hospital all night. But she said she got to take a nap there. So she was up and going today. And when she got home, very first thing she wanted to do was get out the power washer and wash her car. And then she washed the back porch where the cat run is. And I have no idea what she's moved on to now. Uh, but I should go find out. So uh, thanks again for mailbag. In a little while, I'm going to get the egg out for Cal as soon as I figure out what's going on. And then after that, we'll probably get Cal put up in a while, uh, you know, an hour or two. And then let these kids come out and run around, maybe with the fence, maybe without. That is the plan for today. <clears throat> all right. Until then, you guys can keep an eye on all this for me. And I will see you guys later. Oh, hi, Gabe. You came back. Come on in, pal. There you go. Uh, when it comes to the fence, Gabe has run out of the fence, uh, I don't know, a half a dozen times now. And when he gets out of the fence, he just goes straight down the stairs and starts exploring the house. No hesitation. Um, everybody else uh, has made it out, I think, at least once, but they don't usually go very far. And yesterday, Marsh was, he kept going out. And I, I think he just figured out a way to squeeze around the end of it. So I started putting it a different way, and then he didn't get out again. But he, he must have got out a half a dozen times yesterday all by himself. And every time, he would just be right outside the fence looking in like, uh, I don't know if I really wanted to be out here, but I don't know how to go back. And it was too silly because then I would bring him back in, and he would immediately go right back out and just sit there and stare in from outside. Uh, but uh, the, not none of them so far I have gone downstairs except Gabe, who just flies downstairs right from the start. The first time he got out, pulling him straight down the stairs. No hesitation. Just, what's next? What's the world got next? <laughs> just such a Gabe. All right. Okie dokie. Oh, you're playing with the... Oh, I thought that was a new cat. No, not, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there. Why am I laughing? That's not funny. Okay. Oh, let's take this box and let's go. All right, happy mailbag, everybody. Oh, kittens. <laughs>